Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mr. Tom Teaches Again. I am Mr. Tom. You might remember that last time we were together, we talked about adding tens in a hundreds chart and how this is a great shortcut. Today, we're going to talk about two different shortcuts for subtraction, subtracting ones and tens on a hundreds chart. Before we get started, let's remember what a hundreds chart is. A hundreds chart is a box, and it's divided into 100 little boxes, and each of those are numbered from 1 to 100. So, let's start talking about subtraction shortcuts on a hundreds chart. Ooh. First of all, remember that on a hundreds chart, when we subtract, we always go to the left and up. Today we are going to take a look at two very simple number sentences. Our first number sentence, 33 minus 1 equals blank, and 48 minus 10 equals blank. Let's take a look and see how these shortcuts work. So our first number sentence is 33 minus 1 equals blank. First of all, we're going to find 33 on the hundreds chart. Then, whenever we subtract 1, we simply move one box to the left. Find 33, move one box to the left, we get 32. 33 minus 1 equals 32. Now let's take a look at our second number sentence, 48 minus 10 equals blank. First of all, find 48 on our hundreds chart. Now remember, when we added 10, we went down to the block below. This time, since we're subtracting 10, we're going to go to the block above. So find 48, go to the block above, we land on 38. 48 minus 10 equals 38. So let's review what we've learned. When we subtract on a hundreds chart, we either go to the left or up. Let's take a look at our first number sentence. 33 minus 1 equals blank. Find 33 on the hundreds chart, move to the left one block, we end up on 32. 33 minus 1 equals 32. Wow! Now our second number sentence. 48 minus 10 equals blank. Find 48 on the hundreds chart. Remember, when we subtract 10, we just go to the box above. That's 38. 48 minus 10 equals 38. And there you have it. Subtracting ones and tens is pretty easy once you know the shortcuts. Come back next time when we talk about how to add two digit numbers using a hundreds chart. Thank you so much for being here. And remember, it never hurts to be nice.